things I can get. Wood, rocks, whatever. Who knows what's next? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. I'm coming to you this morning from the patio that's coming along. I've been so excited about this project. We have been making a lot of progress on the back patio here. We have already got the privacy screens put up, but I don't have everything finished yet. And I really want to show the whole process and the end results in a video. So I'm going to hold off on showing that until next Sunday. So I hope you're not too disappointed, but stay tuned until then. And you will finally see the whole backyard patio makeover with the privacy screens. But I do want to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Patio Well. You may remember a few months back, they sent me one of their garden sheds. I'll put a link to that video right up here. I I still love my shed it's been great it holds all of my things that I don't have room for in my home plus all of the things that I use outside like pot and soil weed killer all of the things go in that shed and it has been such a blessing I'm so thankful for it but they reached out and wanted to work with me again and this time they sent me their deck box this is a great looking 82 gallon storage box that's weather resistant and strong enough to also serve as seating. This deck box has a wood look finish that will look great with your outdoor decor and it's a perfect solution to keep your yard organized and tidy. It's great for storing chair cushions, pool equipment, gardening tools, and even all those yard toys your kids love to play with. Patio Well has deck boxes in a variety of sizes to fit all your needs. But not only that, what I'm most excited about is that they're offering to give one of you guys, one of my sweet subscribers, a shed of your very own for free. This giveaway is for a five by three metal shed. I have a screen recording here so that you can see what this shed looks like and how big it is. So all you have to do to enter is to click the link in the description box and fill out the questionnaire. In about two weeks, a winner will be chosen and we will notify you by email. So make sure you fill it out completely. Also, if you go and subscribe to their YouTube channel, which I will also link in the description box below, that will increase your chances of winning. So thank you so much. I hope you guys are as excited as I am for a chance to win one of these wonderful sheds. So now we're gonna put this box together and I'll show you how great it is. This box was very easy to put together if you just follow the directions. On the back of each one, it has a letter on it and it tells you in what order to put them together. You just have to make sure that you have them going in the right direction. So pay close attention to the pictures in the instruction booklet. I was putting it together backwards there for a minute and was so confused, but as long as you pay close attention to which direction, like the handles are pointed and things like that, it's not that difficult. The bottom of it gave me a little trouble and that's because I was I had it flipped inside out. My mom figured that out and after that it was easy going. The only time you have to screw anything is the hinges here. Everything else just snaps together. Look at this sweet boy. Hi Remy. Hi buddy. I just love his little pink nose. He's so cute. A handsome boy. Yeah, he is some boy. He always looks mad <laughs> or annoyed. He's just annoyed with me. He's so soft. Look at this soft belly. That soft belly. You got such a soft belly. Chelsea and I made a quick stop by the Southern Kentucky Flea Market a couple of weeks ago. It wasn't um, too far from closing time, so we didn't have a lot of time. Um, so I didn't really get to film much. I just got a few clips of a couple of things. My sister actually found a futon for $50. I think she may have showed you that in her recent video. Um, and I picked up this plant stand. I thought it was really cool. It was $18. It's a metal plant stand. And then I took it home. I picked up some plants from Lowe's and from the Amish nursery. And then I got um, these little coconut, I think they're coconut liners, if I'm not mistaken. I picked these up at Lowe's, but they're actually cheaper at Walmart. So keep that in mind if you need to buy any. Also, I don't know why it didn't occur to me, but after I had already cut these and put them in the thing, 
my mom said, well, that probably screws apart so you can put the, the, the liners in there. And I don't know why I didn't even think to try that because I cut the bottom one and it was a little too small. The other two fit fine once I cut them. But after I cut the bottom one, the biggest one, it didn't want to fit together right. So I ended up having to go and buy a bigger one when I could have probably just unscrewed it and not had a problem. <laughs> As you can see, my little nephew Carson here, he loves to help plant flowers. Every time I'm planting flowers and he's around, he comes up here and wants to help me. So we had a good time sitting and chatting and putting all the flowers in there and arranging them. Why do you have to cut the middle? So I'm going to go around this hole in here. Let's see. Oh. Hi. Let's put it out. Okay. What you got? Oh, you pour it out. I'll get it. I'll get it. I don't know. What is this? What is it? Hot soil. trying to decide how I want to do these flowers. I thought maybe I might do pink and this whitish yellowish color on the bottom and then maybe do purple in the middle and then pink again on the top because I don't have enough pink to do one of these in each. Oh yeah, I do actually. So I could just do pink. And um, another one of those whitish yellow flowers so I think I'm gonna do that for the middle one I actually got some ivy to go in there I have some petunias this pretty pink verbena I love how it turned out in the end. The flowers are doing really well. I really love these yellow and white ones. They're so unusual and pretty. Um, I ended up going white on top, purple in the middle, and then pink on the bottom. I really, really like it. Hi, Rosie. She's checking herself out. Today, but we're having rainy weather today. It's cleared up at the moment. Well, the rain has. It's still all gloomy and everything. But we're supposed to have thunderstorms today, so we're not going to be able to start the project today. My dad's going to have company tomorrow. I don't think we're going to be able to start tomorrow, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Today was the day that we could get it done and just can't, can't do it. Maybe Wednesday, depending on the weather, but I think it's supposed to rain Wednesday, too. Hopefully, we'll be able to get to it one day this week. It, I don't think it should take that long to do it. It's not a very difficult project. At least, I don't anticipate it being, but those are famous, like, <laughs> famous last words, right? Anytime I think something is not going to be difficult, it ends up being very difficult. <laughs> but I really don't anticipate this being a hard project. Um... On my way to the gym, I'm really not feeling it today. I really just wanted to stay home and just veg. <laughs> just veg out and watch Netflix. But um, I think this the gloomy day is adding to my already 
bleh mood that I'm in. But I know myself and I can't be skipping out on the gym because that just leads to more skipping out on the gym and I can't do it. I have to stick with it. I know myself and if I get into the habit of not going, I'll stop going and I don't need to do that. Both for my physical health and for my mental health, I need to continue going. So, I am hauling my butt to the gym. It's more difficult also now that I don't have to be in that town anymore where, you know, I used to take Timmy there three times a week for dialysis and now I'm just driving there to go to the gym. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's just... It's just me trying to make excuses, I guess, for reasons why I don't want to go. Like, oh, I have to drive 30 minutes. Boo-hoo, you know. Pull yourself up and go. Like, that's what you got to do. That's what I got to do anyway. I can make a million excuses of why I don't want to go today and why I should just stay home. But they're all just excuses. They're not real reasons. So, off I go. Our Planet Fitness got a bunch of new machines in. I think all of the machines in the 30 minute workout section are new. They all have these little timers on them now, so it counts how many reps that you've done and how long you've been doing them. So you don't really have to look at the stoplight anymore if you don't want to, which I think is great. These definitely are a harder workout. <laughs> I ran in Lowe's to pick up more of these landscaping rocks to edge out my the rest of my patio and it started pouring down. Thankfully, one of the guys at Lowe's offered to help me and came and helped me load them into the car so it didn't take me as long. So I finally got the whole outline finished on the side of the patio. And I'll have to get more when I go to do the other side. Good morning, guys. I am getting my shoes on. Today's Tuesday. Um, it's another rainy day. It's not raining right now. I'm hoping it'll hold off because we're actually going to go get some, like, rock. I've got the rock around my flower beds but you can never have too many landscaping rocks <laughs> i know i'll find some other use for them so they're free the lady said just come pick them up out of her yard and we can have them so but first i wanted to show you what i've been having for breakfast because i've switched it up a little bit and it is so good i promise you you have to try it so good let's let's work on that i am wearing timmy's shirt i know you guys seen him in this many times i've been wearing his shirts a lot especially to sleep in but i don't know just makes him feel a little closer i guess okay here's what we are using for our breakfast this morning these are my favorite low carb tortillas they are the mission carb balance tortillas and they have 70 calories um 19 carbs 15 dietary carbs so it's four net carbs in one of these these are the smaller ones um i prefer these over the big huge ones i think these are the smaller ones <laughs> i'm pretty sure they are i think the other ones are a lot bigger than this but anyway um this is what we're gonna do and the best way in my opinion to eat these is to put a little butter or whatever you choose in a skillet and kind of toast it like you would a grilled cheese makes it so much better that's the same with that sugar-free nature's valley bread that i buy i don't think i would like it on its own like as a sandwich but if you toast it so good so so good all right so we're using that we got some gouda cheese i've been on a gouda kick lately i don't know why a little butter an avocado some eggs and then I have some sort of meat usually on the side maybe bacon or something this is um, smoked sausage it's got cheese in it it's really good um, I go ahead and cut mine up into little pieces and then I'll just toss a handful in a skillet and that just saves me a little time all right let's get to cooking this I get my skillet nice and hot and then melt a little butter in here and I'm just gonna put my tortilla in there. 
This is what I love about using an electric skillet is that I can cook all of this in one skillet all at the same time. I'm not dirtying up more dishes and it works perfectly. If you're new here, then you may not know, but I don't have an actual stove in my kitchen. I pretty much use this electric skillet for everything. Um, and then I have a induction burner if I need to boil something or use a, like make something in a pot. <laughs> um, so I would put my egg in here and then my smoked sausage. I'm just going to let this cook a little bit. Um, I seasoned my egg really good. I use a seasoning blend that I picked up at Walmart. It's got um, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and sometimes I'll put a little onion powder on there. Just season it however you like it. While this is finishing up, I'll usually go ahead and slice up my avocado. Depending on how big it is, sometimes I'll use a half of one and sometimes I'll use a half of a half. So today I think I used almost half but not quite. And I just smash it up all over the tortilla and then I add everything but the bagel seasoning. This is the off brand. I got this at Walmart. It's just as good, I think and I just sprinkle that generously on top. I like a lot of it, but if you don't, if you've never tried it before, you might wanna start off just using a little until you know if you like it or not, but I like a lot on mine. Once I get that done, I'll go ahead and add my egg. Now, sometimes if I cook bacon, I'll add a slice of bacon to it. That's really good, but today I didn't have any. I used the smoked sausage. And then I just flip it over and you can see the golden buttery crispiness Oh, it's so good. Voila. Now normally I would put like a fresh sliced tomato on there, but I am fresh out. I forgot to get any when I went to the Amish market the other day. I was too caught up on the strawberries. <laughs> um, but that is so good on here. It's a good garden tomato. Timmy would say it's plum larrapin. I don't know where they came up with that. I guess it's just a Southern word, but his aunt Brenda says it too. So if you guys try this, let me know how you like it. Getting this tortilla good and crispy is key. Like that's what takes it up a notch and makes it so much better. If you're on a tight budget and wanting to do some work in your yard, make sure that you check Facebook Marketplace. A lot of times people are giving away free things. This lady was just trying to get rid of all of this rock, so she was giving it away for free. All you had to do was come pick it up. And if you've seen last week, we got free wood that we're going to use to make projects this summer. Sometimes people just have extra materials left over from projects that they're working on, and they just want to get rid of it. Got a good pile of rocks. There was still a lot left and she told me I could come back and get more if I wanted to. I'm kind of scared to tell my dad about it <laughs> because he will want to pick up every one of those rocks and I'm not feeling that. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's so gloomy and just rainy and I think it's going to be that way all week and I really want to refinish that, um, that, um, what do you call it? That wardrobe that I bought, but I'm gonna have to sand it outside. And yeah, I don't know. It's just, it'll rain and then it'll stop and then it'll rain again and then it'll stop. So it's hard to start any project because you don't know when it's gonna start raining again. But this gloomy weather has gotten me, I don't know. I just don't really wanna do anything and I'm just um, more emotional i guess i don't know just been thinking a lot about timmy and um thinking about that last week before he passed away like and trying to remember what we were doing you know what we talked about and if there was anything i could have done differently You know, he complained for a few days about his leg hurting, and I took him to the doctor, and the doctor just said he thought it was from his back because he had spinal stenosis, 
and you know he was on blood thinner and i never in a million years would think that he would get a blood clot because that's that's why we had to deal with the blood thinner and all the problems that came with the blood thinner and for him to get a blood clot i don't know i don't know you just can't help but think about those things and you know i think should i have pressed the doctor harder like you know when he said that he thought it was because of his back you know i just i didn't think anything else of it because he'd had pain in his leg before the same kind of pain where he couldn't hardly lift his leg um couldn't hardly get up out of the chair and it hurt him so bad i mean like really bad pain and you know timmy couldn't take painkillers because of his kidneys and it was hard to see him hurt like that he was up all night with it and then he had to go to dialysis and he didn't want to go and um you know i i i told him he had to you know he had to go he can't miss dialysis and he struggled. He couldn't get in the car by himself. I had to, you know, help him raise his leg up and get in there. And I had to run back in the house and get um, his water bottle. And when I came back out, he had slumped over in the seat. And was non-responsive. And we called 911 and pulled him out on the ground and did CP I did CPR on him and I just I knew I already knew that he was gone and it seemed like it took forever for the ambulance to get there and then when they did they worked on him for a long time a long time and it just there wasn't anything they could do It's almost been two months already. And I don't know if it makes any sense, but the further away it gets, the, the sadder it makes me because that's, that means that's long. It's, you know, at first it's like, it's only been a week since I've seen him. And then it's been a month since I've seen him. And pretty soon it's going to be two months since I've seen them. And that time and space is just going to keep growing and growing. And I know that there's a lot of you out there who have messaged me and who are also grieving somebody. Whether I have people who are grieving children I have people who are grieving parents, who are grieving their spouse. No matter who it is, if they were important to you, it it hurts. And it hurts that it, that you know that it's a, it's a hurt that's never going to go away. Not as long as you're on this earth anyway. <laughs> Yo, Timmy and I didn't always have, well, we didn't have it easy ever, but uh, we struggled a lot earlier in our marriage. After I started staying home with him and we were together all the time, we, we were closer than we ever were. We, I think, finally understood each other and knew how to communicate with each other and be there for each other like we had never before so you know god works in mysterious ways and it all is i mean you i can look back and i can reflect on things and think okay well maybe this is why that happened and maybe this is why this happened and the lord led me to buy this trailer so that I could stay home with him, so that we could spend these years together to, so that our marriage will be stronger, so that 
he would be stronger so that we could have good memories so that I could help him to to do things that he'd never done before and go places he would never would have seen and you know YouTube come along and that changed everything too and you guys you know all none of that would have been possible without all of you and there's so many different moving pieces that came together to make our life so much richer and to make these last years that we had together so much better and happier than I could have imagined and more than he could have imagined and even though you know life was still hard and we went through very hard things we were a team <laughs> like we hadn't been before and uh, we would say that a lot you know that we was that we were teammates and that's very important um, I think in a marriage is to be on each other's team <sighs> all right enough for one day <laughs> I am about to run in Walmart. I need to find me some shorts because all of mine are too big. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> um, let's let's try to let's try to get this day back on track. I'm sweating. It's hot in here. The sun's coming out. Sorry, sorry for all the emotions today, but it's been that kind of week. I knew that one thing I wanted to do with those rocks is to put them all around Timmy's tree out front. This is the pink dogwood that we set in memory of him. Uh, Say hi, Mimi. Uh, hi, Mimi. Get down there. Get down there. Good boy, Remy. <laughs> I don't want that. You don't want that? Nope. <gasps> oh, he's gonna run. You just gotta rub him. He ain't gonna let you hold him. <laughs> See? Now he's gonna run. Don't go on it. What? Don't go on it. Don't go on it? <laughs> yeah, don't go on it. You wanted to hold him, didn't you? Yep. He just won't let you. Yep. Here, you wanna give it a treat? Yep. There you go. Say here, Bonnie. Here, Bonnie. Hey, good girl. Good girl. You know the wheels on the bus? Wheels on the bus, where we go. Go round and round, round and round. Wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Beep, beep. <laughs> beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, <laughs> That's that yours. That's, yeah, that's mine. Yep. Hey. That's yours. Those are mine. Yep. You want to wear them? Yep. Oh, look, you're so cute. Yep. <laughs> you lost him. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Sing along. I know you know this one. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Message. Grief is a journey that has no end destination. It's ups and it's downs, it's happiness, it's sadness, it's anger, it's frustration, it's, it's so many things and so different for so many people. Everybody's different. I never want anybody to look at me and think that it's easy. It's not. Every day is a struggle, but my husband wanted me to have a good life, and I'm going to do that for him. Praise God, praise God.
Praise God, 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 praise God. Amen. Amen. I love it when they go to that last verse. It's not written in the hymn book, but praise God. What greater thing could you do because he says he inhabits the praises of his people. We're his people, so when we praise him, the Lord's going to show up. Amen. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.